everyone, Amanda here from scrimpymommy.co.uk Today we're going to use this Celebrate Sunflowers I've used it before but I've told myself that I'm going to share the same sets over and over again to give you lots and lots of inspiration in case you've bought it or maybe you need other ideas for it I'm going to show things more than once So today's card's quite an easy card um, This is popular for colouring but colouring can overwhelm some people so this is a way of doing it with just a little bit of colouring if you're not overconfident at it. Alright, we're going to use minimal colours, we don't need to do any shading or any blending, we're just going to add a pop of hand colouring, so that makes it easier if you're not confident with it. So all of these layers here, for ease, I'm going to leave all the measurements over on my blog, scrimpymommy.co.uk. Alright, it's a standard C6 card size, and then we've got... Um, this layer that's going to go there, I'll leave it all on my blog and then we're going to have a, a layer like so. Alright, really simple. So nip on over to my blog for the exact measurements so you know how to cut them. Otherwise you can just cut what you want really, it's, it doesn't matter what you cut. Alright, so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm just going to layer where we had this rectangular one. So this is my card base, I'm just going to layer the rectangular one where it would be if it was glued on alright so about there because I've got to leave room for this one alright so I'm going to leave it just there now at this stage if you've got any removable glue dots you can just tap that down with a glue dot I'm just going to wing it <laughs> I've mounted my sunflower and we're going to stamp across this layer and that layer alright so we're going to stamp across both Alright, so I'm going to carefully ink it up. I'm using Memento uh, because this is one of the good ones for colouring so that the colours don't bleed. So if you've got Memento, you can use that. If you don't, you can use what you want. Just be very, very careful um, and don't colour right up to the edges. Let the colour um, expand to the edges, if you know what I mean. Alright. Um, if you're not using alcohol markers and you're using just normal pens, then it'll be fine. But wait for the ink to fully dry. Okay, before you start colouring is another tip. Otherwise, you might reactivate that ink and it might run. So I'm just going to stand up for this. So sorry if my mess of hair gets in the shot. So we're going to go... I'm going to go about just as central as I can. Alright, doesn't matter if it's straight. And I'm going to stamp over both of those. Okay like so give it a good press so that it stamps on the bottom layer as well as the top layer because there's going to be a, a small amount of thickness there all right but if it miss stamps where the join is that's where our colored layer comes in because that will kind of hide that ever so slightly you'll see what i mean if it miss stamps just on the join you'll see what i mean in a minute so i've given that a good press all over okay and then I'm just holding both layers uh, with my fingers and then I'm going to lift the stamp. So I see there where we've just got a mist stamp where the join is. Yeah? That won't matter because we're going to put our layer on and you won't see it. Okay? Very clever. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Honestly. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to um, very carefully glue our layers together. Okay. I do advise you let your make sure your ink's dry in between, but obviously for the sake of videoing I've got to be quick, so if I smudge it, then I do apologise. You are meant to wait. Alright, so I've just glued that on there and I've cut it so that we've got a small border all the way around. Alright, so now I'm going to attach this to my card base, like so. Da -da -da -da. There we go. And you can do this with any stamp. You can cut your shapes any size. I mean, you know, your, your panels, any size, any shape. You can put them anywhere you like. The idea is we're going to just spotlight a very small amount of the stamp and colour just that. But by adding these layers, we're just adding a little bit more interest. I've got a little bit of ink on there. Never mind. So that's why you should make sure your ink's dry. So you will transfer it somewhere, but it's on your tiny bit. Nobody'll know. No, don't tell anybody. 
Right, so, <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, glue this on. Now you could do it on, you could raise it up on dots for even, you know, on um, dimensionals for even more interest if you like. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and line that up, okay, where it would be. And there we are. See? So now you can't see that gap. You've just got a two layer stamping. All right, let me just give that a press, make sure that this is nice and straight. All right, so we're not going to colour that, we're going to colour this. And what we're going to do here is, we're going to just, I'm just going to decide where I want it, whether I have it in the middle, whether I have it up there, where I have it just there. I'll probably have it just about there. So what I'm going to do, um, so about, so if I start stamping on here, from the edge of the sunflower inside there, and onto there then I'll layer it up. Now you can do this on a stamparatus to be really precise. I'm a bit lazy at getting my stamparatus out, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm, really <laughs> I'm terrible. Uh, you know, I don't, um, I'm, I'm not very skilled with the stamparatus if I'm honest. And so I'll just do it by eye. Right, so I'm inking up. Alright, now I'm looking at the shape of my sunflower there and I can tell which is the bottom because it's got like folding over leaves there. Those are straight up and then these are like crumpled and folded over. So that's the bottom. Alright, so that's the bottom there. So I'm going to add my small piece here and I'm going to start just on the edge of the, of the outer of the centre. <laughs> Where the seeds would be. So I'm starting with my corner there. All right, about there. And I'm just going to very gently press that onto my stamp. As I say, you could use the stamparatus. Be very careful at this stage that you don't get ink all over you. All right, just gently, carefully does it. If you get ink on you, go wipe your hands. All right. So that should have transferred that figure onto there like so. Alright, so we're just going to give that a waft and allow that to dry. Waft, waft, waft. Give that a waft. And this is the part that we're going to colour. Alright, so I'm going to do that now. So all I'm going to do is, that's the bottom, and um, that's that bit there, look. Which bit have we done? We've done, I'm just going to match it up so it's that bit there, so it's going to go there, okay. So, I um, don't have any leaves, I've got the, the inner bit here, so I'm going to start with a light colour and go all over. And then I'm going to go with a darker, let me just test that. I'm just going to go in with a darker one as well, okay. I'm not going mad for the blending or the technique, I'm just spotlight, um, spotlight colouring. So then I'm going to take two shades of yellow, I'm going to start with the lighter and I'm going to go all over with the light colour. Is this the light one? Tell me this is the light one, that's dark, oops, never mind, is this the light one? Light. <laughs> <laughs> thought it would a bit dark. I'd like to start with my light one, please, all over. And you don't even need to be careful. You just smoosh it everywhere. And then if you want, you then go in with the darker where, you know, if you want to add some tone. If you don't, you could just leave it like that. It won't matter. All right, we're doing it. This is a, The idea of this is it's a quick version of colouring and you're just colouring a small amount. Just to make your life a bit easier, if you were making in bulk, for example, it would take far too long to colour everything beautifully in bulk, but sometimes you want to um, add some colour into your cards, so this is a good way of doing it. So then I'm just going to go in with the, the darker colour and just go a little bit uh, where the lines are that Stampin' Up! have already given you. Just going to go over those and then just a little bit, it's going to be just a little bit darker. Just towards the centre of the flower there. I'm just going back over the lines, like I say, that they've already given you. That's coloured in black there. I'm just going to go over with a little bit of darker yellow. Alright. I mean, the more time you take and the more colouring you do, um, you know, you can get some really awesome results. But if you're after a quick card, you know, you haven't got time to be shading everything. 
and this way you can bulk make them cards and still give the recipient a little bit of your hand colouring without having to go crazy. Alright, so then what we're going to do is we're going to attach that onto our card that's been cut. Alright, above that on there. Am I even in shot? Yes, I am. Okay, so that's on there like so. And then we're going to pop this one up on dimensionals. Okay. And again, it will be more forgiving if you've not quite stamped it in exactly the right place. If you pop it up on dimensionals, it will hide the fact. The fact that we've layered it under um, coloured card will hide the fact if it's not lay lined up exactly perfect. You don't need to be a perfect stamper to have fun with... Um, with stamping up right so now I'm just going to see where this lines up all right just bear with me a moment so it lines up let me just have a look where that bit is it's a bit like a jigsaw you've got to see where it lines up so that bit is where is it it's there look so I'm going to pop it let me just get it right it's about there Move it over slightly. Alright, so it's about there. So then we've just got that pop of colour there, okay? And then you can do your sentiment. So I've got a scrap of card here. And I'm going to use, thanks a bunch. Let's keep it simple. Where are we? There we go. Thanks a bunch. Let's get that on a block. Let's fit on this block. There we go. It will fit on there. Get my memento back out, get it inked up. And stamp that on there, kind of to the bottom and straight if we can. I've got a feeling that's upside down. Oh, it isn't. Oh, well done, Amanda. <laughs> it's not upside down after all. And then we're going to just trim that and probably add it on a little bit more of the, of this is Mango Melody, it's a beautiful colour. So I'm just moving my card to one side while I just trim down this sentiment. Alright, super easy. If you've got layered dies you could use a die, if you've got, if you're good at cutting straight you can use your scissors, I am not any good at cutting straight. And so I'm using my mini trimmer. Okay, put it in there. Perfect. And then I'm just going to probably. How shall we have this? Let's have a look. Uh, do, do, do. Let's have it uh, like that. I do like. And so then just for a bit of extra, let me just make sure it's dry. Or shall we have it just on a normal straight one? <laughs> Can't decide whether to curve it and have it like that or have it straight. I'm going to curve it. I'm sorry. You can layer it on a piece of cardstock and just have it flat if you want. My brain is saying no. No, not this morning. <laughs> so we're going to curve it. Right, let me just grab some gems. Just bear with me. Let me see if I can find some that match that colourway. I'm sure I can find some retired ones. Here we are. Sorry about that. This bit's uh, kind of a bit ad lib now. I'm kind of making this up as I go along now. Just bear with me. I'm just going to grab um, something to ink with. I'm going to grab my Mango Melody ink, which is here. Whoops, a daisy. Just, uh, just, uh, just ignore the noise. I'm not uh, destroying my craft room. It's, it's just an illusion. Right. So I'm just gonna gently, <laughs> gently ink that, and I'm just gonna flick it over the edge of the. Uh, that looks like uh, pollen on the edge of there. It's a beautiful colour. Is mango melody. I've not used it enough. Nowhere near enough. Let me move that out of the way, and. Just give those a little bend, tiny bit of glue, either side, as I say you can lay it flat if you want it flat, flat for the post. Alright, I'm going to attach one of those either side of there, 
give it a press and allow that to dry. Let me grab these. These uh, these are retired these. Just use what you've got. If you haven't got something that matches, then colour it in with a alcohol marker or something like that. There's always ways and means of doing it. Can I find a pokey tool? No, can I acres? What have you done with it? Don't know. I'm gonna to have to try and do it uh, myself. Right, so I've got these dots. I'm gonna just cover up where I just inked. Where I ink blobbed there, I'll just stick a little gem there. Nobody knows there's an ink blob there now. Alright, and I'm just going to use up these these little gems here that I've got lying about left over. Um, just add a bit. No, I don't want that there. Don't want that there. I've changed my mind. Get off. Will it come off? Oh, it won't come off. I didn't really want that there. I wanted it further up. Never mind. I'll put another one here. And we'll have another one up here okay there we go we've used some of those up and we've got ourselves a lovely lovely card so give it a try spotlight color stamping and then you don't have to color the whole image but you're still giving somebody a little sample of your hand coloring i think that's really lovely thanks for watching i'll leave all the measurements on my blog take care and i'll see you soon bye